Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. On today's Everything Music, we're going to talk about modal concepts for songwriting. I have a D Dorian riff that I'm going to create a song structure out of, and it goes like this. Two, three, four. So the riff here that I'm playing is a D Dorian riff. I start with a low D string, so I've, I've tuned down to a, a drop D and I play. Then I hit the A string and hammer on to the note F. And I have my pinky on C at the 10th fret of the D string and I'm playing the open G. Then I hammer on this B note here at the at the ninth fret of the low D string there. And then I I hammer the B to C there. 9 to 10. Then a blues lick there. That's really obviously a D Dorian lick. You got the root, then I'm hammering from the fifth to the flat third, then the flat seven, 11, and then the sixth there. You got just about every note in the scale in there. I think I'm missing the ninth there. chorus part I have is this. So I've got F uh, sus2. So I got F, C, D, but I'm blocking the D. F, C, G, C, G. Then I have a C sus2 over E. So it's like a first inversion um, C major chord, essentially. C at nine. Then it goes back to the riff. Back to F sus two. That's the whole shebang. So that's the whole riff there. Let's listen to it in the context of a song I put together.
That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. And if you're interested in the Beato book, which has tons of modal ideas like this in it, go to rickbeato.com and you can find it there. And remember, leave a comment if you like the video, even if you don't. And give it a thumbs up, too. That really helps. Thanks, everybody, for watching.